in Roman Holiday. I had Gregory Peck, who had agreed to do the film. So there was a British director. I asked him to shoot a test of Audrey Hepburn and then conspire with the cameraman and the sound man when he says, cut, scenes finished, that they do not cut. Well, this director did it just right. She jumped out of bed. She said, well, how was it? At this moment, she was at her most attractive. And I said, this is the girl. His attitude of that only simplicity and the truth counts. It has to come from the inside. You can't fake it. That is something I learned from him. 8.30, breakfast here with the embassy staff. 9 o'clock, we leave for the Polinari Automotive Works, where you'll be presented with a small car. Thank you. Which you will not accept. No, thank you. 10.35, inspection of food and agriculture organization will present you with an olive tree. No, thank you. Which you will accept. Thank you. Willie was a great, famous director when I met him, but I didn't really know much about directors. Gregory Peck I knew about. And to do a movie with him, you can imagine what my first picture, what that felt like, you know. We all knew that this was going to be an important star, and we began to talk uh, off camera about the chance that she might win an Academy Award in her first film. Every year I appreciate more that I did receive it. The story itself was very thin. It was an episode in the life of a princess, a Cinderella story in reverse, but, uh, but certainly everything in it represented Willie's humor, Willie's sense of romance. It was Wilder all the way. The mouth of truth. The legend is that if you're given to lying, Put your hand in there, it'll be bitten off. Oh, the hard idea. Let's see you do it. Gifts with comedy were particularly marvelous. The European sensibility and, uh, and also a fellow who was 100% uh, American, a rare combination. There was the one scene that required tears because I had to leave Greg and go back to my palace. I had no idea how to come by these tears. I mean, I'd acted so little. I'm going to that corner there and turn. You can stay in the car and drive away. Promise not to watch me go beyond the corner. And the night was getting longer and longer, and Willie was waiting, and... And out of the blue, he came over to the car and gave me hell. He said, look, we can't stay here all night if you're not going to... Can't you cry, for God's sake? I mean, you know... <gasps> Willie had never spoken to me like that, ever, you know, during the picture, and I broke into such sobs, and he shot the scene, and that was it. I don't know how to say goodbye. I can't think of any words. Don't try it. And he said, I'm sorry afterwards, but I had to get you to do it somehow.